Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about March 7th, League of Legends DFS Slate. Um, today, it's a LPL two-game slate, um, so it's a pretty uh, small slate as it was yesterday. Uh, just a quick recap. Um, we, uh, you know, correctly um, predicted the BLG matchup and, and the other matchup. Uh, we had a perfect uh, predictions yesterday uh, based on our eye test and our key metric analysis. So hopefully we continue that fire hot streak here today as well. Um, we have really good, good matchups. Um, if you are a League of Legends uh, esports uh, competition fan, um, this <laughs> should really get you uh, salivated. I mean, we have EDG at minus 145 versus Weibo Gaming, and then we have Top Esports at minus 190 versus LNG Gaming. Um, four teams that are very good and probably gonna be that are gonna be in the playoffs. So we are excited uh, for these matchups. But in terms of DFS, um, yeah, we're gonna dive in and look at the the rosters, look at the matchups, and look at the key metrics. But before we do that, um, if you like our videos, if you find our videos helpful or informative, um, please please smash the like button below. Um, let's let's get it to 30 or 40 likes uh, for this video, if you don't mind. Um, that would be great. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, but yeah, without any further ado, let's dive in. So again, EDG versus Weibo Gaming. We have EDG starting uh, the same five that have been starting all season. Ale, JJ at Jungle, Fofo, Leave, and Mako. Um, EDG has been pretty solid, in my opinion. Um, I think they are a top five team. Uh, in the LPL, in my opinion, um, JJ has been really uh, has stepped up um, at jungle position, in my opinion, especially given that um, their backup jungler Junjia left um, EDG about a month ago. And that has solidified JJ's role as a starting jungler. And he has thrived in that role, in my opinion. Um, there were some games, few games that that were questionable. Uh, his performance was questionable here and there, but overall, in my opinion, he has been a top top six, top five or top six uh, jungler, in my opinion, in, in China. And then Weibo Gaming, um, just like a little overview, they've been so up and down. Um, and some people have been questioning the Shy's uh, level, uh, skill level, you know, given his struggle, uh, struggles the last couple months. But, you know, when he... <laughs> When he gets the lead and when they look good, he looks really good. Um, obviously, when they lose, he, you know, you know, is the type of a player that just keeps going and going and tries trying to make a play. Yeah, I mean, he's his stats are gonna look really bad, right? So, um, and that can happen just given how he likes to play, and that's I mean, Weibo Gaming knows that, and that's who he is. He's not gonna change. Um, so I don't criticize him for for being like that, but. The rest of his teammates, though, in my opinion, like especially Xiao, who coming over from RNG, uh, I thought Weibo Gaming this he's gonna fit really well here, just given the fact, given given how the Shy likes to play. I thought Xiao, who um, being more of a you know supportive mid laner that he was at RNG, supporting Gala and supporting Wei, like I thought he was gonna fit right in here for Weibo Gaming with the Shy. And Carsa, but he has been struggling. Like in my opinion, he probably has been one of the worst, uh, or you know, most disappointing players rather uh, for Weibo Gaming. But Carsa actually has been pretty decent, and then Light and Crisp actually, in my opinion, have been better than Leave and Mako, uh, their counterparts for EDG. So I think it's gonna be a I think it's gonna be a very interesting matchup. In my opinion, I think JJ and Fofo have been much, much better than Karsa and Xiaohu. Um, So, yeah, let's look at the metrics, though. I think that is probably what's going to differentiate uh, this marquee matchup between these two teams. So we have uh, EDG. I think they're a favorite at minus 145. Yeah, I want to see. Let me see real quick if the odds have changed. Um, I assume they have. This was from this morning. 
Uh, 145 was this morning. It's at 150. So a lot of people backing EDG, um, whereas they're not backing Weibo Gaming. The odds have gone down to plus 120. And then um, we'll, we'll talk about top esports game later on. Looks like both favorites have gotten some juice. Um, okay. I understand that. So, yeah, let's look at the key metrics, though. Um, we see the total kills over under projected is at 24. I put that on in my tweet today, I think. Yeah, I did. So I'll try to do that on a two-game slate where <laughs> I have more room for my character limit <laughs> for my tweet. So anyway, uh, and then combined kills per minute metric, it's at 0.80. So pretty fast, right? Like you see what Weibo Gaming likes to play a little bit faster than EDG. And then the jungle control percentage between JJ and Karsa or for the teams respectively, EDG leads in that key metric uh, slightly. I mean, under <laughs> less than 1%. And then same for lane control percentage, Weibo Gaming leads that by 0.3%. So minimal difference, marginal difference there. Um, and EDG leads the gold spend percentage difference uh, by 1.5%, which is pretty, I mean, it's it's significant in my opinion. And then EGPM, very, very <clears throat> little difference there between JJ and Carsa. So yeah, I think it's more of a toss up in my opinion. Um, now, as mentioned, I think when the key metrics... <laughs> that we like to analyze are very close like this. I like to lean on my eye test and that goes, as mentioned earlier, I like EDG better. Um, I'm a little worried about the bottom lane aspect of it. Uh, leave and Mako versus Light and Crisp. I think Weibo Gaming has an advantage there, but I think EDG has an advantage in the jungle and the mid positions there against Weibo Gaming. And in the top lane, I think the Shy has been so inconsistent, but his ceiling is so high. Um, and same for Ale, actually. Ale actually has been pretty good, pretty solid, but he just hasn't looked that like he would. He has meshed completely, uh, you know, with the rest of his teammates for EDG. So Ale is not the same Ale that we saw for LNG, in my opinion, um, but he's been okay, I think. So I just want to see some metrics here how that's going to fare between these, uh, you know, in these uh, laning matchups. I want to see EDG players versus uh, Weibo Gaming players. I think that's going to be an interesting uh, metrics to look at just overall, not just the jungling, uh, not the junglers, um, not just the junglers. So, so usually I just look at the EGPM metric for these guys to see if there's any edge there. Um, which I did yesterday, and that's how I kind of came up with the BLG uh, prediction correctly. So let's look at uh, EDG leads um, the AD carry position. Let's see if by how much. Oh, quite a bit. Hmm. 332 is really good. So actually, that proves me wrong that leave has not been performing as well as light. Leave actually has been really good. 332 is amazing. I want to see, if, all right, let's look at all of these first. I want to look at how he fares against the rest of the AD carries in the LPL, which I think it will be interesting to see. All right, EDG leads that. And then Xiaohu against Fofo. Xiaohu actually leads this by 20 gold. Ali leads the Shy. Weibo Gaming leads by, I think, two gold. So minimal difference there. Um, support, Mako, EDG. So that kind of goes with Leave having advantage over Light. Uh, Xiaohu over Fofo. But how much is that? By 20. I think I said that already. Ala, top lane, the Shy. 23. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it looks like EDG has a lot more advantages there overall. And I want to see, as mentioned, how leave uh, for EDG 
fares against the rest of like ruler obviously has been really good 339 332 yeah i mean 332 is really good really really good and Weibo gaming hasn't been too shabby either but i looks like <laughs> I was a little worried about the bottom lane matchup, but it looks like Leave and Mako actually lead um, in key metrics against Light and Crisp. And Xiaohu actually leads Fofo. So I guess I was wrong. <laughs> I guess my eye test was, you know, um, was a little different. So, and as mentioned, I'm more of a metrics guy. Um, I'm going to say EGPM advantage in most of the lanes for EDG. Um, jungle control percentage favors EDG as well. Xiaohu, based on my eye test, is not as an influential around the map as the metrics indicate. Um, I'm going to go with just given all of these EDG wins to ah, two to zero or two to one. Do I think Weibo Gaming can take a game? No. I'm going to go with EDG wins two to zero. Um, yeah, that's how I'm going to go. All right. So that is the first match, but you know, it's a two game slate. So obviously you can play any of these other underdogs. Um, so feel free to go crazy, go crazy for any MEE GPPs. Um, it is what it is. Anything can happen, especially when you have these four great teams that are playing against each other. Um, but yeah, so all right, the next matchup on the slate is Top Esports versus LNG. Both teams really good. I mean, really, really good. I'm a huge fan of LNG this year. Scout has been the best mid laning uh, player <laughs> in the LPL, in my opinion, even over Rookie uh, for Top Esports. Tarzan has been very solid. Um, and LP and Hang have been hanging in there uh, in terms of... Uh, the matchups and the metrics, in my opinion, um, LNG has been pretty, pretty streaky, uh, you know, but mostly consistent um, when they win in terms of like they're playing with their identity. Um, I think they play through Tarzan and Scout um, and then the rest of this team, uh, their team support uh, Tarzan and Scout and LP and Hang like in the late game. Yeah, I mean, they they definitely have what it takes to be able to beat top esports, in my opinion. But top esports, you know, they they like to. <laughs> They are so, so good individually, right? Like the laners, they're so good. They like to just snowball individually, skill-wise, um, go from there. Their team fighting and macro game is not as good as you saw their series against, I think it was JDG. Um, Jackie Love and Mark, obviously, really solid. Um, now they have a full year under their belt from last year. Um, they know how to play with one another. Jackie Love likes to make plays. Mark. You know, he knows what Jackie Love wants to do. So they are on the same page in most of the times. But still, you know, Jackie Love likes to, you know, cross the line at times. But that can pay off at times, right? Especially when you are going up against um, uh, some inferior teams with inferior skills. Um, but LNG is not one of them, right? Like, I think LNG can definitely hang in there. LP and Hang can definitely hang in there against Jackie Love and Mark. Um, I'm a little concerned about um, Tian versus Tarzan. I think Tian actually has better metrics than Tarzan. We'll take a look at the metrics. Um, but also in real life, I mean, in, you know, just based on my eye test, Tian actually has been uh, pretty good. I think he had a little, like, uh, rocky start up to the season. But in the last couple weeks, the last three weeks, he's been very, very solid in my opinion. And I think I mentioned this in my, in my earlier Top Esports Slate video, but they like to bully um, their their opponents, right? So like as soon as soon as they have an early game advantage, they really like to uh, snowball 
that early game advantage and then bully the other team by just racking up kills. I mean, they just grow bigger and bigger and they they grow their gold lead um, bigger and bigger by, you know, just snowballing their uh, lead advantage and kills and uh, setting up fights and stuff like that. So, you know, once top esports has an early game advantage, I just feel like LNG has no chance. Um, now, is LNG that is, yeah, that poses the question, right? Is LNG good enough to be able to withstand the early game uh you know dominance by top esports and my answer is yes right like i think tarzan and scout like i like i said have been really good and ching tian and zika i think zika can definitely endure what ching tian can bring i think ching tian is a very very aggressive top laner in my opinion and zika is a very very um defensive or more of a utility or supportive uh top laner in my opinion compared to ching tian's uh, level of aggression um, and Zika is a smart, smart player, in my opinion. Um, I've been watching him quite closely, uh, you know, in the LNG games. And I think he can definitely uh, go go up against um, Cheng Tian without any issue there. Now, the bottom lane is what I have an issue with. So obviously, I'm going to take a look at the metrics as I did before and compare these two guys, the combos, uh, the duos rather, uh, between these two teams. But first, let's look at the key metrics for these teams. Um, in terms of the matchup kill upside, um, this one is a little better than the EDG Weibo Gaming matchup at 24.5 total kills projected over under, and then combined kills per minute metric at 0.84. Top esports, as mentioned, likes to bully other people. That naturally uh, translates into more team fights and more kills and more deaths. Um, so that, uh, you know, it, it shows at, um, 0.86, um, for top esports and then 0.82 for LNG. So both teams, uh, very, very fast, um, playing. So I think this has the potential to turn into a kill fiesta, in my opinion, 0.84 is really, I mean, it's pretty high. So, and then jungle control percentage favors LNG surprisingly at plus 3.4%. Now, that's pretty significant, if you ask me. I think Tarzan and Scout, I think, kind of um, dominates and controls the map, in my opinion, in the early game. And I think that naturally translates into that figure, uh, having an advantage over Tian and Rookie uh, at jung in the jungle position, um, where Tian likes to control and Rookie helps out. Um, and then the lane control percentage difference favors LNG by slightly at 0.4%. And then gold spend percentage difference, um, LNG is favored as well, but slightly, right, under under 1%. And then EGPM jungler, though, this is this is a very interesting one. I, I think Tian um, actually leads Tarzan uh, by 24 gold um, in that uh, jungle matchup individually. And I want to see if that is the byproduct of top esports uh, uh, identity and the style of play that I just mentioned earlier. So let's look at the individual matchups um, that I just talked about. EGPM. All right. So AD carry, you see Jackie Love definitely has an advantage there over LP. 319, which is pretty good over 304 so by 15 yeah i mean that's pretty significant and then scout as mentioned has been the best mid laner in the lpl up there at 318 wow that's really good over rookie he's sitting at probably under 300 yeah 290 right like anything over 300 is really good for carries uh for you know like mid laners or ad carries especially mid laners i think that is really really good um so let's see, that's about even. And then Zika over Ching Tian. Wow, Zika has actually been up over Ching Tian at by plus 23. Wow. Okay, that is a very surprisingly pleasant <laughs> um, figure. And then Tian over Tarzan as mentioned. But Tarzan has been so influential like around the map. He had he has had so much impact around the map. Um so yeah, I, I think I'm just a little worried about the bottom lane um between Jackie Love uh and Mark versus uh, LP and Hang. 
Um, but as mentioned, Scout has an advantage there, and Zika has an advantage there, um, which I didn't know, uh, metric wise. Now, Tarzan, um, actually, Tion has an advantage over Tarzan, but I actually do like Tarzan's play style a lot better here against top esports. Tarzan has been, um, he knows he's a very like cerebral guy, um, who knows what the opponent will do and then counter punch, um, the opponent, what they like to do. As mentioned, I think it comes down to the early game. If top esports like um gets an early game advantage, I think that's game over, um, most likely. But I think LNG has what it takes to be able to do that. Um yeah, I mean lane control percentage, you see LNG actually leads in that. So that tells me that LNG actually has a pretty good control in the lane control, right? has a pretty good lane control rather um yeah i think lng wins um I th i'm gonna go with lng um lng wins two to one zika surprisingly as um he has an egpm advantage over cheng tian tian Tarzan for EGPM, but I like Tarzan's jungling style against oh so aggressive TES. LNG has a very good lane control percentage, which will help them with stand TES uh, aggressive play style early game that they liked to play with and snowball with scout over rookie and all metrics bottom lane i am a little worried for lng but i think um as long as lp goes about even against Jackie Love, I think LNG can definitely win this series. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go with EDG winning 2-0 to zero and then LNG winning 2-1, to one, um, pulling off an upset here tonight. Um, yeah, if you like my video, if you like these uh, metrics or analyses, any of, any of my contents, please, please uh, smash the like button below. Um, otherwise, I hope you had fun watching the video. Hope you have fun watching League of Legends. Hope you have fun watching or making uh, some money off of these slates. Um, we are going to be back with a four game video tomorrow night. So hope you guys uh, stay tuned and yeah, hit the like button below. It'll keep me motivated um, to make more. Um, hope you like the video. Hope you have a good night. Have a good one. Love you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.